actions have continued to trail the election tribunal judgment at the, on the House of Representatives and Senate elections in Plateau State. Four members of the PDP at the National Assembly had their election victories nullified. The development is heating up the polity in the state as the leadership of the PDP and APC have been at loggerheads over the judgment. A Plateau State correspondent, Funam Joshua, reports. The recent outcome of the election tribunal petition is generating serious reactions among supporters and party faithful of various political parties in Plato State. So far, four members of the National Assembly, three from the House of Representatives, and one Senate seat from the Southern Plato have been notified by the judgment. The judgment stands on the ground that the PDP in the state did not have the structure to contest the last general election. The PDP in the state is not happy with the judgment. They briefed journalists calling for the immediate reversal of the judgment. Another youth group staged a protest on the matter, also briefing journalists on their stand on the development. We have asked our lawyer to take the mandates of the Plateau group as their right of appeal to the Court of Appeal to reject the wishes of the electorate because this will of the people, as freely expressed by elected Senator Napoleon Bali, and Honorable Peter Gendem must be respected. We urge Nigeria's citizens, civil society organizations, international entities to join forces, stand up against corruption, and demand for justice for Nigerian people. The APC in the state, in response, urges security operatives to take note of the reactions from the PDP. They claim the stand taken by the PDP and its utterances are inciting and capable of threatening the peace now enjoyed in the state. The attention of the All Progressives Congress APC Plateau State Chapter has been drawn to some reckless press statements by, by the Plateau State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party. The PDP, which is obviously behind this ugly developments is disreputed for its hypocritical posture of play, <clears throat> playing the religious and ethnic card in causing disaffection and now setting division within the ranks of unsuspecting citizens of the state. With the judgment of the governorship election set to be delivered on September 19, all stakeholders and supporters of the political parties in the state are warned to tread with caution and advised to seek legal redress where they are not satisfied with the outcome. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.